Hey everybody, first video with my tablet while I hang out on my hammock in my backyard while I do some writing. This is my, uh, my I'm doing my writing outside day. I usually do my writing outside, usually first thing in the morning, which I did do first thing in the morning, but then later on in the day I said, you know what, I'm going to take time to just do this. And I'm going to go outside and I'm going to write um, my book, write part of my book and uh, see what I can, what I can come up with, what ideas I can come up with for my book and, and what I can accomplish today. And this morning I was writing, um, I write in a book I mentioned before, uh, I finished 32 pages of one so one book is done now I'm writing another in another book and um, same thing you know just uh, thoughts for the day and my thoughts for today were were actually really cool for my um, process that I've been putting myself through today which is you know make sure you take time for you do your meditation do all the stuff that you normally do but you know you you're accountable for you so hold yourself accountable hold yourself accountable for um, for whatever it is you are choosing, you know, what's your lifestyle, what's, um, how, how you think, how you react, how you act, how, you know, what you do, hold yourself accountable. If you're not where you want to be, how can you get there? Hold yourself accountable for that, you know? So, um, as I was writing that, it made perfect sense. Well, yeah, I mean, I do, I, so I'm a busy mom, you know, I have, I have four kids, three of them live with me, one, um, two are, are still really dependent on me, my oldest is not, she, she uh, has her own daughter and takes care of her, so, but I help take care of her too, so I have that, I have dogs, cats, bird, guinea pig, husband, myself, so I'm, I'm pretty busy all the time anyways, I have my garden, my flowers, and my plants, and all that. So I keep myself very busy, <laughs> um, but there's times when I have to hold myself accountable for what I want to accomplish. So I don't take enough time to just chill in my hammock. I don't, um, I do my writing as much as I can, but today I decided that I'm going to do more writing. So I take care of the family and now I'm out here. Um, I just finished doing up lunches, so they're all taken care of. They can do their own thing now, and I can come out here and and do uh, some more writing on my book that I'm writing. I've done my meditation this morning, but I'll probably do some more this afternoon. Um, maybe while I'm out here on my hammock, take some time to to just um, meditate. Take time to be in nature, right? You are accountable for whatever it is you do. Every thought you have, hold yourself accountable for. If you're feeling um, anxious, find out why. Like, what thoughts are you thinking, right? Or, better yet, stop analyzing and just change them. Change your thoughts to ones that are going to help you out better. It's completely 100% up to you. This is a big screen. I tried doing it the other way, but it didn't work, so... This will just have to work. Um, hold yourself accountable for who you want to be, for who you are, and for uh, what you want to accomplish. Like, it's 100% up to you. I usually don't ever lay down doing a video, so it feels kind of weird. Like, second-guessing myself <laughs> when I shouldn't. Hold yourself accountable. Usually what we do is we get so, so we act a certain way or we react a certain way, right? So then we get so um, upset with ourselves because we acted or reacted, but hold yourself accountable. So before you react or act, you know, hold yourself accountable. Okay, is that the way I really, you know, is what I'm thinking really true? Is it worth it to overreact? Is it worth it to act out? Is it worth it to, you know, like that kind of thing. Hold yourself accountable. 
doesn't mean you should, could, would yourself. Doesn't mean that you don't, uh, that you get mad at yourself. Doesn't mean that you judge yourself, you know, and say, you know, things like, well, this is how it's always been. Well, you know what, you get a choice and you can choose to change it. If you're living the same life on repeat over and over and over and over, then it might be time for you to hold yourself accountable and to change it because only you can. The wind is blowing and the sun is right above my, I have a umbrella and the sun is right there, you can see. So the umbrella, when it moves, the sun glares. So sorry about that. But hold yourself accountable. So what does that mean? Let's go into that a bit. So we have gone through many, many different things, changing your thoughts, changing your, your feelings, your reactions, your actions, you know, all that stuff. We talked about it. But how do you hold yourself accountable? So like I said, today I am taking more time to do some writing in my book than I normally do. I've decided I'm going to take time for me and come out and, and hang out in my hammock. If the other ones want to come outside and hang out, they're more than welcome to. But if they want to choose to stay inside, that's up to them too. I'm not accountable for them. I'm accountable for myself. So if I get frustrated for some reason, then that's my fault. It has nothing to do with anybody else. And we always love putting the blame somewhere else other than ourselves. And um, we don't hold ourselves accountable. We don't hold ourselves accountable for what we want to accomplish. We think, well, you know, I can't do that because of this situation or that situation. And, I, and I'm with you. I have a, a son who uh, has seizures on a regular basis, so I have to watch for him. I can't just, you know, jump a plane and go travel the world. It, my life doesn't suit that but I, I'm being responsible right so I'm holding myself accountable I'm I know what I got to do and 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 what I want to do so um, and I another thing was I would talk myself out of writing the book life with Matt right and um, I had to hold myself accountable and write that book because I think it's important that people realize that you know, sometimes you got to go through stuff, a lot of stuff, to really help you, um, like, figure out different ways to do things. In Life with Matt, that's basically what the book is about. It's about living with Matt and trying to help him have the best life he can have um, with as little issues as possible because he's had to go through so many different things. But I had to hold myself accountable and say, I have to write this book and go and write this book. Um, you, no matter what it is you want to do, you have to hold yourself accountable. You just have to do it. Don't overreact. Don't overthink things. Stop your worrying and complaining and hold yourself accountable. You are responsible for who you want to be in this life and for the life you want to live. It is time to start. It is time right now. Hold yourself accountable. Start working on the life you want. Stop making excuses. Stop, claim, stop complaining. Stop blaming. Stop seeing it as everybody else's fault or everything else's fault. And start creating the life you want to live. Start being the person you want to be. Start right now. Go and write that book. Go and start that career. Go and open that business. Go and fall in love with the person you want to fall in love with. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. You are accountable. Hold yourself accountable for who you want to be and for what you want in life. It's up to you. Make amazing day, everybody. I love you.